Manure, whether it's animal or human, is laden with disease. It's laden with nutrients. It's laden with energy. So it's not only a problem, but it's also an opportunity. Right now, a lot of, a lot of municipal sludge is disposed of by burning, um, or by landfilling, which is an obvious problem. But when you burn something, what you're doing is you're combining it with oxygen and sending it up a smokestack. When you're pyrolyzing, you're doing it anaerobically. You're actually keeping the material and the constituents of the materials in your reaction chamber and you're converting it to flammable gas uh, and oil that's very much like uh, petroleum and biochar which is an extraordinarily effective soil catalyst within which are captured a uh, significant amount of the nutrients that are inherent in the, um, in the feedstock. So now you can do several things. You can take the gas and you can generate energy with it, or you can store it and use it for heat. You can sell the oil, or you can convert it to a diesel fuel. And then you can take the biochar and you could use it, for instance, in revitalization of dredge spoils. You can use it to fight uh, desertification. And we're having a lot of problem with desertification right now, especially now with the extended droughts in the Southwest, which history has shown can last 60 to 300 years. We seem to be entering a period of long-term drought. Biochar can help with that. The big problem we're tackling first is the issue of human waste, animal waste. And so TerraLogix is focused on equipment that will make pyrolysis a um, technique for managing waste issues um, <clears throat> in a way that is economically efficient, in a way that delivers value to our shareholders, to our investors, um, and to the community around us. There are many pyrolysis companies that are focused on woody products because it has a high bang for the buck from a point of view of pyrolyzing that feedstock and turning it into energy. Our focus is more on solving problems. We're looking at the fact that under the implementation of the Clean Water Act, under the issue of nutrient runoff into uh, watersheds around the country and around the world, frankly, that um, the human waste stream, the animal waste stream is a big issue for those waterways, for water, water quality. And um, we have a better solution. We have a way to manage those waste issues in such a way as to end those pollution issues. One thing that we're never going to run out of is waste, organic wastes, human waste, uh, other animals' excrement, pork, chicken, beef, cattle, uh, you name it, um, pre and post consumer food waste. Uh, by some estimates we waste close to 40 percent of all food produced, whether that be meat, vegetables, etc. What if we were able to take that waste and actually uh, use it in some sort of positive fashion to produce energy, to uh, take nutrients from one part of the country where we have an abundance and in fact too much, and put it into another part of the country where it's better made use of, in essence, better nutrient management. Basically, what if we were able to take organic wastes of different kinds and essentially turn them into a currency? We feel strongly that the best way to do that is to focus on sludge waste from human excrement, wastewater treatment plant, animal wastes, all of these ways that we can actually pyrolyze stuff that needs to be dealt with that has a lot of, uh, shall we say, nasty uh, 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 elements in it. Uh, and at the same time, be able to produce some useful products from that. So we optimize the process from beginning to end to be the most useful for humans.